me uh, tell me about uh, people who are not re retiring they're transitioning what happens then do they still get coverage uh, under the military Okay, so in terms of health insurance, we've got this great program called TRICARE, and it covers all active duty and their family. Um. There's an organization out there called Dublin Dogs. Basically, they raise money to train dogs to assist people who need extra help. Maybe they're in a wheelchair or they are a war veteran suffering from PTSD. It's a tough job. Each dog costs 20 to 25 thousand dollars to train over six to nine months this year they focused on helping veterans returning from war they partnered with freedom service dogs a nonprofit that does just that we've talked to them before on this show uh, here with us today we have eric rudolph from denver with his dog mason and jason watson who's the founder of dublin dogs in charlotte okay. north carolina uh, eric let me start with you welcome to both you gentlemen eric you got mason there and and i understand that mason's you say mason saved your life a few times uh, yes, sir. That's for sure. First four weekends that I had him, I um, uh, have severe diabetes. Wow. And uh, he was able to detect what the first night that I had a low blood sugar and uh, started to go into diabetic coma shock. And uh, he uh, slapped me with his paw and uh, gave me a bloody nose that woke me right up. And then I thought that was wow. just a fluke the first time that I had him. And then three weekends in a row, he did that continuously. How did he detect that? Is that part of his training? No, it's not something that uh, they're trained for. There's not really a science, I think, as far as training them. Some dogs have that sense. They can detect uh, the, the body sweat or the body odor that uh, is emitted when you're a diabetic and you uh, get into that condition. So Let's he's talk been, to Jason um, Watson from... He's uh, actually saving... The Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me ask Jason. Uh, Jason, what's the, what what kind of training goes into uh, this twenty to twenty five thousand dollars over six to nine months? Sure, there's a, a whole myriad of different factors that go into that, and really a lot of it's contingent upon the uh, the specific needs of the soldier. So, as you mentioned, uh, there are those soldiers that suffer from post traumatic stress, uh, as well as uh, those soldiers are coming back uh, as an amputee, and that is our particular soldier this year. Sergeant Charles Bernenhausen, uh, who suffered an amputation after uh, hitting a IED while serving in Iraq. So these dogs, everything from uh, retrieval mechanisms to support, I know uh, for Sergeant Bernenhausen, uh, Tux, yep. which is the yep. dog that we're helping to uh, get him, will help support him when he's staying there. Uh, I know that it also will retrieve his prosthetic leg first thing in the morning for him. And then also a lot of it is emotional as well, giving him that self-confidence that he needs to kind of regain his sense of self now that he's back in uh, regular life. Eric, uh, if, if you've got diabetes, uh, you, you sort of, you've got extra things added to your life. Is uh, the fact that you've got this dog now, is that a lot more work for you or, or is it much more of a, a help than a hindrance? Well, I suffer from PTSD as well. But I didn't uh, develop my PTSD until about 10 years after my military service. And um, uh, that also affects the diabetes. So the dog helps with reducing my anxiety levels, which therefore improves my diabetes. And I spent two years basically in seclusion uh, from, the, uh, from the symptoms. And now I get out a whole lot more. Um, in fact, the first weekend I had the dog, the uh, Freedom Service staff noticed a, a big improvement on my face and just how much happier I was and uh, a lot more outgoing. Kind of back to my old self. Who could not be happy? Who could not be happy with Mason uh, around you? Mason looks like a fantastic friend and a great dog. Mason, thanks for joining us. Eric, thanks for joining us. Jason Watson uh, from uh, Fa Dublin Dogs, thank you for joining us. We wish you continued success. And by the way, Dublin Dogs uh, continues to have a uh, demand for uh, volunteers to help train these dogs, obviously with the number of people coming back. If you want to know more about uh, them, there's, there, there is this army of veterans coming home. They need this army of volunteers to help train the dogs. For more information on how you can help, go to my blog. CNN.com slash Alley, and I will link you to the information you need to know if you want to help train some of these dogs. President Obama.